Okay, I would say we start now. Um, if somebody else will join later, there's, there's no problem. Um, there will be an upload from this presentation as well as I think also from this meeting in general. So you can later on watch it again or yeah, look at least at the presentation. Um, let me start with uh, introducing our company. Um, we are a relatively old and traditional company. We started our production at this facility in 1889 uh, with normal insulator housings and later on switched also to search arresters. We have search arresters installed in over 120 countries all around the world. And we have more than 50, in more than 15 countries, exclusive agents or sales representatives. A bit for the historical passion for our search arresters. Like I said, in the beginning, we started to manufacture insulators. Later on in 1961, um, we started the manufacturing process of search arresters. The first DC voltage search arrestor with a spark gap was introduced in 1984. With the development from the metal oxide, which was done by the Maiden Corporation, we changed our internal housing and how it was uh, used to search arrestors in 1989 with the first metal oxide search arrestor. Later on, um, we developed also a search arrest of a silicon housing in 1989. And the first DC search arrest with zinc oxide inside was introduced in 1997. Also for our DC search arrestors, we introduced later on a search arrest in silicon housing. This was in 2009. And I already mentioned the Maiden Corporation in 2015, we were acquired by the Maiden Group. So we are now part of the innovative company that introduced the first metal oxide baristas in the past. And now we are in 2022 and we want to expand into the railway sector even more. So let's come to the general information about railway applications. In general, railway applications are split between AC and DC voltages, as well as in rolling stock and electrical power supply of the rail systems. For the AC systems, the frequency ranges from 16 two thirds uh, Hertz to 60 Hertz. And the general standard for the search arresters for power supply is the normal search arrestor standard, the IEC 60099-4. There are some additional standards that are relevant if you have a rolling stock application. For the general type test and so on, it's still the IEC 60099-4. But additionally, there needs to be performed a fire safety test, which is described in EN 45545-2, and also a shock and vibration test, which is described in the IEC 61373. For the DC search arresters, this is a bit different. The standards for search arresters for power supply that is normally used is the EN 50526-1. And for the rolling stock, it's the IEC 62848-1. Um, for this fire safety test and shock and vibration test, they are the same standards. But I want to clarify a bit um, between the differences for power supply and the general standard for rolling stock. Um, like you can see also written here, the IEC 62848-1 includes the EN 50526-1, but it adds the requirements that are specifically for DC voltage search arresters that are used for rolling stock. This can also be found in the beginning pages of the search arrestor standard. And 
if you have some customers or if you have some questions about it, we also prepared a statement where we compare those two standards so that it gets obvious if it's the same or not. In general, those are there's also an overview we want to present you with the yeah, most common applications with the most common nominal voltages and uh, the typical continuous operating voltage for those search resistors, as you can see right now on the screen. Um, please note that those are just comments. There are always possibility that the yeah, that the requirements uh, are a bit higher than what is normally used. For example, we had some uh, requests for 750 volts where they required uh, 2 kV of the continuous operating voltage. So this is just something you can orientate on if you don't have any additional information. But of course, the specification is always more valid than this table. Now let's come to our portfolio um, for our railway applications. We have four different arrestor types. Those are yeah, um, for AC voltage, as you can see for the SBKC or for DC voltage, which is um, our SBKW or our SBB with the porcelain housing. For the DC search resistors, the continuous operating voltage ranges from 1 kV to 4.5 kV. And for our SBKC design, even though it's mostly used for, you have a smaller spectrum where you need them, this general design is able to get used from 3 kV to 396 kV. Our uh, classification is for the DC search resistors, the DC minus B class, and for the silicon also the DC minus C. And for the SBKC, we have it in SM as well as SH. Now let's look, have a closer look into those products. Let's start with the SBKW minus B. Um, this is for DC applications. It's a relatively lightweight search arrestor with high mechanical strength. Our Technology behind that is a filament cage that is directly molded with HTV silicon from Wacker. It is uh, type tested at independent laboratories according to the standards we already saw. It fulfills the flammability class HL3, which is the highest class that is possible. So we can use the search arrestor for every application. Um, it's available as the class DCB and the class DCC. And the varistors used inside are from the Miten Corporation, where we already explained that they were the inventors of the varistor block. So they still have, since that, high technology there and high quality. And the porcelain house design, which is more or less the same from the outside since its invention um, has a proven uh, is the, for that reason a proven design with over 25 years of field experience. It is uh, type tested in, also in an independent laboratory. As you can see here, there is not the type test of the fire safety test included. This is because there are no flammable parts, so this test is not necessary. It's uh, only available as class DC minus B. And one of the benefits of this design is that there is no limitation to the vehicle speed because the sheds can't flatter. And also we use for this design varistors from the Maiden Corporation. Now let's go to our SPKC design, which we already use also with over 15 years of field experience for normal electrification purposes like trans, uh, transmission and distribution. Um, we have type tested it in an independent laboratory according to relevant standards. Because this is uh, not an HTV 
silicon, but an LSR silicon. Um, we have here a different flammability class, but as the search raster is normally used outside on the top of the train, for example, um, this flammability class is what is required by the end customers. This product is available as the class SM and SH, like I already mentioned, and we performed a wind tunnel test together with a customer. And uh, the, after the results were shown, the vehicle speeds that are approved for this design are up to 180 kilometers per hour. But in recent developments, there is also discussions from this customer where we did the test together with to use our search raster design even for speeds up to 200 kilometers per hour. Now, what is important for the selection of a search arrestor? First of all, it's really important to know what are the environmental conditions? What is the temperature? What is the wind? For example, the temperature has influences on the electrical capabilities, especially the energy withstand capability. If it's outside 70 degrees, for example, because it's in a box that gets heated up before it the train starts, for example, so that it can cool down. And there's an event, the energy wisdom capability is lower than when it starts with 25 degrees outside. So this is an important information. Then of course, we need to know what is the system voltage? Is it for AC or is it for DC so that we can select the correct product? And what are the requirements for the continuous operating voltage? Like I said, we have this table where the general information is noted, but there are some special, special cases where it's necessary to go a bit higher. Then is it relevant for power supply or is it for rolling stock? Because for the SPKC design, we have limits for the vehicle speed of 180 kilometers per hour. So um, we need to know that beforehand. So if this product suits your purposes or not. And additionally for rolling stock, is it placed inside a box? Because if it's placed inside a box, then most probably the temperatures will be a bit higher, but also then the vehicle speed is relevant because um, then it does the box sees the vehicle speed or the wind and not the search arrestor inside. Additionally, are there requirements regarding height or weight? Because for weight purposes and height purposes, especially on the roof of trains, there are strict requirements because when it's too high, then the resistance of the wind is getting higher and also the weight, of course, you need less energy to move a train if it's a bit lighter. And even for search arrests, this is relevant, even though it's just a small part of the, uh, of the train. And the last point, but a really important point is how is line and earth connection planned? One of our biggest factors we want to highlight is that we want to customize the solutions and to talk with the customer what they exactly need. Because oftentimes they have specific requirements. Like if it's inside a box, they need a specific height. And if our search raster is smaller, there is no problem to use an aluminum block to get a bit longer, for example or if they have less space and they need to earth connection be directed into one direction, then we are gladly helping to support with our expertise and to create the perfect solution for your needs. For our references, we sold over 12,000 pieces since 2013 alone, but like I said, our porcelain housed DC search arrestor has more than 25 years of field experience. So there are even more pieces outside in the world. And our main customers are Bombardier Transportation, which now belongs to Alstom Transportation, um, Skoda Transportation, Secheron, Lekov, Main Singapur, and before they transformed, but also, uh, also right now, also Alstom. So uh, then thank you for your attention.
um, you can download our leaflets and our catalogs on the following links here. And now let's go to the question part. So if there are any questions, please let us know in the F&A area and I will gladly answer them. Also exchanged the yeah, European standards into the international standards where this was available. From the testing point, it's exactly the same. There are no differences. With one exception, uh, there's one test where for the class DCA, they use a lower um, a lower voltage, but as our classes are only DCB and DCC, for our products, there are no differences between the EN5526-1 and the IEC62848-1. So if there is a requirement for the EN5526, we fulfill with our type tests according the IEC62848, everything that is requested there. Did your DC railway arrests were tested uh, short circuit test with AC current or triangle impulse? Um, according to the relevant standard, this is done with uh, DC voltage in the short circuit test. Okay, there's the question, what criteria are used to define the maximum speed? Sadly, in the railway industry, there is right now not a, yeah, a general consensus how to test uh, the wind speed. So what we did was, like I said, we cooperated with now Alstom Transportation to perform a wind tunnel test. And they filmed the movement of the sheds within the, with a high speed camera and measured the movement of the sheds. So what is, was the elongation in, along the axis. And with experience, they estimate if this is critical or not. And uh, this was a case study that was also published. Um, there's a scientific paper to it where uh, they explained, okay, from our experience with the movement of the sheds, we can say that at this speed, this is still okay. But if we go to higher winds, uh, to higher wind speeds, then it gets difficult because the movement of the sheds or the flattering of the sheds is too big and we face the risk to, yeah, to get some fractures inside the silicon. Most, the biggest problem for that is, like I already mentioned, there is no general test done. Um, so this is just experience and sadly you need to install and try it. So our products could also be working in higher winds, uh, in higher vehicle speeds. But the problem is that we cannot be sure until we install it on top of a train and let it test it there. Next question. Please explain the difference of the different types of DC arrestors and their application. So, um, as we can see here, we have three different types for the DC search arrestors. The continuous operating voltage is for all, all the same, um, but dependent on the class DCC and DCB, which is described in the standards. Uh, in the EN5526, the same way as in the IEC62848-1. Um, the differences between the classes are mostly in the nominal discharge current that is tested and in the rated thermal energy, as well as the high current impulse and charge transfer rating. For the class DCC, the requirements are really strict and really high. For example, I can tell you that uh, inside our DCC class, we use a varistor block with a diameter of 120 millimeters. And for the class DCB, we use one with 74 millimeters diameter. And those are the main differences between the classes. The usage and the applications um, are close to the same. Um, we see, especially for the DCC, 
uh, market that is getting a bit bigger, mostly from the Italian railway and also the Spanish railway companies, where they use it on high-speed trains, as well as for electrifying certain points alongside the rail. And for the classes DCB and DCC, this is more or less the, the classical railway DC search arrester. So if we would compare it to the standard products from, for example, our former products or the um, Siemens products or ABB products, those are the standard usage of for the applications that was also used in the past. The new requirements for DCC are really something that is coming new. Have productions been developed for speed uh, 380 kilometers per hour? For the SPKC search arresters, this is something we are looking into with a different shed design, but this is still in development process. So right now we cannot say for AC. For the DC search arresters, where we use um, an HTV silicon, which has more stiffness, we are quite confident um, that they work also up to 380 kilometers per hour, but we have no test report to show that this will work. So we are working together with a customer again to install it directly on a train and let it traveling there for some weeks and months and see the results with cameras directly in the operating speed. But right now, we it's just an assumption from uh, our experience with our customers in talks that this will work for speeds up to 380 kilometers as well. Are network rail in the UK going to introduce your arrestors into their 25 kV AC all range UKMS? Um, right now, we are we have no real access to the UK market. We want to go there and uh, try to get into it. We would, as, according to the specification, fulfill it. Um, but the problem is right now that we don't have an homologation yet, for example. So we are in the process to expanding more into the UK area. Um, do you have any kind of DC arrestors on stock? Uh, right now, the production is still based on order and then we produce it but we are planning to introduce uh, a stock where the delivery times then are really short for our DC search arresters. But this is still in development and will probably need at least additional three months. Um, as we look right now on this uh, table and we look at the nominal discharge current, uh, just one additional information. In the past with the old version of the EN5526. Um, the specific, uh, specified nominal discharge current we see also in a lot of specifications is 20 kA or uh, in the past line discharge class four. Even though we have here written 10 kA, this is just the definition for the class DCB according to the standard. The varistor blocks we used and also what the search rest is capable of, the nominal discharge of 20 kA is no problem for it. We can fulfill this requirement as well. There will also be, there's also an official statement regarding this that um, we confirm that this is suitable and why it's recorded in the type test only uh, written or tested as 10 kA because um, this is just of the requirements of the standard to fulfill the class DCB. Thank you.